hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well this morning um this is just going to be um messages from spirit i haven't done a collective in a while obviously due to me being away for a, a while um going through my own ascension process so i really miss you guys <laughs> um thank you guys for your patience once again um and yeah so let's let's do a message from spirit let's see what spirit has to say let's see what spirit wants you to know let's see what's most important for you guys to hear i hope you guys are really feeling good this morning i feel good i feel refreshed i hope you guys are feeling the same way <clears throat> um it's 10 20 over here i stayed in bed a little bit later to get some get some more rest because i woke up pretty i woke up around like four something and ended up seeing four 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 on the clock so <clears throat> you know you guys some of you guys could be going i know when i wake up like that i go through that's me going through a spiritual awakening or an ascension process you know so <clears throat> You know, I get insomnia really bad when that happens. So let's see. Let's get the messages for you guys. Spirit, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, Father God, please give me clear messages for the collective today. Clear messages for the collective today. What do they need to hear? What messages do the collective need to hear? Please allow the messages to come through clear and concise for the collective. Please and thank you. Okay. Let's see. Messages for the collective. I have a few other oracle decks <clears throat> I'm going to pull for you guys. Okay. To get more messages, more clarity about your journey. So let's see. So bottom of the deck, <clears throat> we have moderation. Every time I get this card, I get Sagittarius energy. So some of you guys could be Sagittariuses or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pull signs too with this deck to see what signs could be relevant to um, this reading, this spread, okay? <clears throat> so, let's see. It says, <clears throat> moderation, my throat is like, I don't know, maybe I need to drink something. But it says, um, this is an omen that you or someone around you may be overdoing it. This could represent overindulgence, vanity, or imbalance. This brings attention to traits of narcissism, substance abuse, intensity, lack of discipline, or impulsive behavior. Pause. Healthier habits are needed. Intervention is coming. Mm -hmm. so some of you guys could definitely, like, like the card says, some of you guys could be definitely overworking. Um, some of you guys could be doing too much of something, like maybe overeating. Um, it could be addictions. It could be anything. Okay, this could be someone else around you. I'm, I'm hearing something about overindulging in different type of drugs, possibly. So, I'm hearing definitely be patient with yourself at this time. Don't push yourself. If you need to rest, take some rest. Take some time out. Don't feel guilty about um, getting some rest. Yeah, but there, there, is, there could be some imbalance somewhere. So, let's see. Somewhere in your life. Let's see. What else for the collective? What else do they need to hear? Excuse me. Make sure you're not making any rash decisions. Right now, guys, make sure you're thinking before you speak as well as what I feel called to say. Because I feel like right now is a time where everybody is like growing impatient for certain things in their life. You know what I'm saying? Or for certain people that's that's in, in you guys' lives. I feel like a lot of you are just growing impatient and you're ready to snap possibly. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, so we have competition. It says friendly competition can make work or projects more fun. Petty competition can create enemies out of friends. This is an omen that those around you are competing with you. This could be for your attention, your friends, partner, money, assets, or recognition. Protect what you have, watch your ego, and be fair. Yeah. Yeah, there's something like throwing you off. There's there there could be people around you that are pretty jealous about what you what you have acquired or obtained, you know, around this time. It does say beginnings, so there's definitely beginnings coming. There's new beginnings coming in, and so I feel like a lot of you guys are being tested. <clears throat> there's big big tests happening to see if you're going to. It's testing your strength so you can <clears throat> go to the next level. Spirit wants wants to know that you will set boundaries and you will um, <clears throat> cut people off that are not um promoting growth in your journey you know what i'm saying people that are, that don't that don't belong in your journey with you on this next level 
So spirit wants you to be aware of the things that is going on around you. So I, I feel like things are all over the place. I'm definitely getting like the two of pentacles energy where you're having to adapt to certain changes and be patient and um, trust that your spirit guides and your angels are guiding you along your path here. Yeah, so we have beginnings. A new dawn has emerged. This is a time to celebrate change, newness, and growth. Beginnings come in many forms. This could be signal. I mean, this could signal a time for a new job, home, relationship, idea, or creative endeavor. You have worked hard to get where you are. Stop to appreciate all the steps you took along the way. Yeah, so some of you guys are definitely going into a new phase in your life that is definitely um. So this flipped over. I'm going to take it. It says self-image. We are all perfectly imperfect and must be mindful not to downsize, degrade, or dull the shine of our light. This is an omen to signify that attention is needed on your own self, image, or to be made aware of how others around you are seeing themselves. Love the entire being that is you. Be kind to your reflection. So yeah, I feel like a lot of people um, around you right now, guys, could be pretty um, insecure. I feel like a lot of people are projecting their insecurities and their negative bullshit onto you. Okay, and so I just feel like with these new beginnings that are coming, you just don't, you just, you just don't have time for this shit anymore, <laughs> really. Um, a lot of people could be gaslighting you um, and making you seem like the villain in the, in the story. And I feel like you don't care, you'll be the villain because you know you're not the villain. So it's like, okay, you can make me out to be whatever you want me to be, you know, <clears throat> type thing. Yeah, okay, so we have poor health. Your guides and spirit are bringing you attention to your health. There are signs of neglect, abuse, and addictive habits. This is an omen that your health needs improvement. Take time for meditation and restful sleep. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> yeah, avoid bad influences and stressful situations. Your mind, body, and soul deserves the best. Yeah, definitely take some time. Okay, some of you guys, you know, I feel called to say too, some of you guys can, could be uh, not feeling like yourself or you don't look your best self. Okay, I feel like for the women, maybe you guys need to get up and kind of like do your makeup one day, go out. You know, have a little bit of fun or or even if you just do your makeup just to be cute. It doesn't matter. Just do it. Uh, okay, because I just feel like maybe a lot could be going on right now. And now is the time for you to get rest so that way you can restore your, your mind, your body, your spirit. You know, because it's all connected. Some of you guys need to... I'm hearing something about a holistic medicine doctor. Some of you guys could be trying to be that, which is good. We need more of holistic medicine doctors, <laughs> more natural doctors. Um, or you could be needing to go see one. Maybe you've been thinking about going to see a holistic medicine doctor that'll be good right i feel um yeah responsibility loss third party influence guilty queen of wands universal law yeah th there could be people around you doing spell work here there could be a lot of spell work going on around this time because yeah there's blessings coming in there's definitely blessings coming in some of you guys are investing in in new things new people um a new business or whatever you're about to take off <laughs> so we're going to see what this energy is about yeah because <clears throat> um yeah don't let don't let anybody make you feel a certain type of way i mean it's easier said than done you know because these could be people that you've had around for a very long time guys that um you're just now seeing who they are as a person, you know, seeing their character flaws and things like that. It's just time to, to get rid of people. <laughs> you know, it's just time to get rid of people. So let's see. What is what is the moderation card, Spirit? What is moderation? What is this moderation card about? What is this moderation card about? Yeah, I just saw the hermit. It could be dealing with a Virgo. <clears throat> yeah, Ace of Pentacles, see? Yeah, and then we have four cups. So definitely rejection. Yep, two of swords, making hard decisions. And, and these decisions could be fairly hard because it's like you don't you don't know what's coming next or you don't know what these people might do, especially if you're dealing with people that, that do heavy drugs or they drink a lot or they get um kind of like belligerent, they get obnoxious, they get they're and they're stuck in their ego, they're stuck in the three D and they don't have any um they're not really in tune with themselves. These people could be kind of abusive towards you, you know, and, and, and certain things that are that is going on around you. So, you know. I really do just feel like there's like a hard decisions that you have to make because a new beginning is on the horizon. For some of you, this is talking about your job, your material world, your home, your uh, maybe a new car or um, just an upgrade and whatever it is. It could be a relationship. It could be some of you guys could be going into a commitment to a cups. 
um, where you're going to be getting married and starting a new life and your baby daddies and baby mothers are going to be mad and doing all type of shit to break the relationship up type of thing. Like, I feel like now it's getting to the nitty gritty. Okay. I feel like this shit has been going on before, but now it's happening. It's probably getting worse and you know, things get worse before they get better, you know, but I definitely feel like, um, be, you know, make sure that you're not ignoring the signs I'm, I'm hearing. Don't ignore the signs and don't and don't stay too stuck on the past to the point where you ignore this new offer that could be coming in. For some of you, there's people around you that are shape shifting. They're offering you shit, but it has something behind it. OK, a lot of the shit I'm feeling called to say could have spell work attached to it. So make sure you're not, you know, if you're suspecting certain people around you are uh, <clears throat> just trying to get in your fucking way. And just just be mindful is what I feel called to say, right? But definitely a new beginning and a lot of rejection here. So you're going to have to be <clears throat> making hard decisions. And I feel like you're going to have to lead with passion. I mean, uh, lead with compassion. Be very empathetic. Be very kind. And it could be hard for you because it's like these people piss you off. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, a lot of options. Seven of Cups to charity. Yeah. So let's see. Hmm. What is What is moderation here for the collective? Okay, yeah. See what I'm saying? Didn't I say something about the Two of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. It's in reverse, though. So the Two of Pentacles, yeah, an imbalance. Some of you guys could be overspending. You need to watch your spending habits, okay? <laughs> like, really, really watch your spending. Uh, I think I got that in one of the last collective readings that I did for you got, for you all. Something about your spending is, is off. There could be... It, it, I just feel like there's an imbalance. If it's not your money, it's an imbalance in your life somewhere, right? Because the Two of Pentacles upright is trying to regain balance. It's definitely... Um, you know, trying to adapt, trying to be more flexible, okay? But definitely something is off here. This could be uh, making a bad financial choice or bad decision here, bad decision making, okay? Um, some of you guys need to get on a budget or you need financial advisors or something like that. I just feel like if it's not your money, things could be like topsy-turvy, like they, they, things are up and down. Yeah, but it's getting you prepared to be, wow, the devil. Yeah, it's, it's something is getting you prepared. Spirit is getting you prepared to be the empress. You could be dealing with a strong Libra or you have a strong Libra in your chart or you could be a Libra or a Capricorn. Yeah, you're going through a process where you're upgrading. Definitely DNA upgrades happening. Yeah, something is something major is shifting in your life here. So whatever this is, is imbalanced, that's off. Some of you guys are going through a breakup. There's a partnership that's just not working out or you're you're realizing that somebody is off or they're imbalanced or they have a problem or whatever. But definitely, uh, hmm. excuse me. Some of you guys are needing to get back organized. You're trying, but it could be hard at this time. You could be in a bit of a financial mess. For some of you, you've been, um, you, you have a lot on your plate. You need to just do one thing at a time, right? Because I feel like you're overwhelming yourself. That's for somebody. But for others of you, this is you. You could be a bit overwhelmed and you could be overextending yourself to other people right now. You need to pull back your energy. Or you need to take a long look at what you're giving these people or what you're doing because you could be feeling off or imbalanced. Let's see. What else for moderation? With the two of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess, the Empress at the bottom of the deck with the Devil still. So you could be dealing with the Cancer of Pisces or somebody could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, so you're, you're trying to listen to your intuition about something here. Some of you guys could be tarot readers. You're trying to ground your energy. This is what you're doing right now. I feel like, you know, this Two of Pentacles could possibly be someone else. But I feel like, you know, since we're talking about the collective as in you guys, this is definitely, um, you, you could be trying to be loyal or, or too caring and kind and giving to too many people, right? I feel like that's, that's the energy that you give off anyway, but there's something that's, that's trying to throw your intuition off or you just feel thrown off a bit. It's like, it's like, there's a lot of people that have, um, that are keeping a lot of secrets from you right now is a, is I feel like you're going through an ascension process where your intuition is, is being heightened at this time. Like your intuition could be going off about a lot of things here, about a lot of decisions that you've made in the past. Maybe that could be coming up. 
or a lot of people that could be coming back into your life that that want shit from you or they're just pulling on your energy in some kind of way hmm. some of you guys you could be getting ready to be a mother right so you could be feeling a bit off or maybe you think that you're pregnant but you could possibly be some of you guys are getting ready to birth something new if it's not an actual pregnancy it's um pregnant with new ideas here Spirit is trying to get you to prepare, yeah, to invest in something long term. Queen of Pentacles likes long term. They don't like anything temporary. They're very grounded. They're very stable. Queen of Pentacles is also a wife energy, also, a, or maybe a father energy, a good mother as well, or father. Yeah, so let's see what this is about here. What's this um, Two of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, see, Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups, yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, so this is you. Yeah, because you're walking away from certain people, places, and things that no longer serve your journey, your path, emotionally, you could be off. And it's throwing off your finances. Maybe it's throwing off your work life a bit, you know? Some of you guys could work at home. You could do what I'm doing from home, okay? Um, for some of you, or, or you just work from home. You do something where you make your money. Something, something is, is, is pulling you out of your comfort zone. You're having to make different decisions that could just be throwing you out. I feel like you're more so overwhelmed or you're, I don't know, you just maybe are a bit tired or drained emotionally. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of you stepping into the unknown. You don't know what's ahead of you, but I feel like you have to be strong with this, this person with this red gown on or this red shirt or whatever this is with these red boots. That's like authority. But the red is power, passion. I feel like that's confidence as well. So, yeah, it's a lot of things that are hidden. But I feel like you know that whatever you're leaving behind is, is is it needs to be left behind. And it could be making you feel a bit sad or you're leaving a lot of people behind that are in regret. They're sad that you've walked away or they're upset that you've walked away. Yeah, yeah, you're planning. See what I'm saying? Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So definitely um, strategizing to build here some of you guys could be going back to school maybe you're thinking about going back to school some of you guys could be with child you're pregnant or or you're just building a legacy here you're starting over you're starting fresh or you're just going into a new phase in your life where yeah the justice and the ten of cups yeah you deserve this happiness that's coming towards you here you definitely do but <clears throat> yeah things could be out of whack or out of balance for you right now guys because um there's things that you're walking away from or you're needing to walk away from that there's like there's been an imbalance for a while now maybe subconsciously you know when you read into your subconscious it's it's not something that you will see on a 3d it's like you have to dig deep to figure these things out but something subconsciously that you were hiding or or you know that was deep down making you sad but it's like you cover it up you know what i'm saying with work or something or, or just with anything Somebody could be mad as well. This could be somebody else's energy. Yeah, somebody could be kind of like um, imbalanced because you've walked away. It's like they, they don't have that um, that energy from you anymore. You're not giving something, your energy, your time, your effort or anything like that. You're just focused on yourself and, and somebody else is mad that you pull your energy back because you've been overdoing it or you've been too kind or walking on eggshells with people. You know what I'm saying? Just to kind of like keep the peace and keep people from getting mad at you. You don't give a fuck anymore. You're listening to your intuition and you're walking away. And it could be making you sad because it's like maybe you trusted these people or you, you know, but I know damn well they said because they trust you. Of course, you're a trustworthy person, but they're not. But it's like something was not fulfilling you emotionally. It's time to put that to rest and move forward. Let's see. What's what's this Queen of Pentacles? Some of you guys need to go on a vacation. You need to go on a travel to, to kind of like heal your emotions. Eight of Cups could be travel as well. Some of you guys need to get back, um, get in tune with nature here. Maybe go out in nature, go buy some water here to really uh, release your emotions, release your feelings. Things that you feel deep down inside. Something about your past that you're walking away from. What's this Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, you're mourning something or grieving something or putting just deading something. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so your hard work is definitely going to pay off here. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah, you're getting ready to celebrate something big. Yeah, Three of Cups, Six of Wands, Ace of Wands. Yeah, it could be a passion project that you're working on, something that you're passionate about doing where you're going to receive a lot of recognition, a lot of... um. A lot of supports, a lot of, um, for some of you, it could even be fame. It could be, yeah. 
yeah, something is making you nervous though. Or there could be a lot of gossip, a lot of people talking about you. I feel like I feel like they're celebrating you though, but there could be people around you that are not um supporting your path, and that's fine. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> but but definitely with the Knight of Pentacles, you always finish what you start here. So I feel like this is what's coming up. Things that you started or things that you dealt things that you or people that you were with in your past that you thought that things ended with but it hasn't quite ended because subconsciously you've been just kind of like suppressing it or re or repressing those feelings or those emotions or things that you've been having to do okay i feel like you're, you're getting back grounded this is what you're doing yeah you're getting back grounded you're getting back stable this is somebody that's very responsible i feel like some of you guys or most of you could be very uh financially well off or you're going to be you know you're good with your finances. You know how to manage your finances. Or this Queen of Pentacles could be somebody coming in to help you with your finances. One or the other. But Knight of Pentacles is definitely hard work paying off. It's, it's somebody with really good work ethic. Building slowly. What's the High Priestess? Or something is stagnant. Your money could be stagnant right now. Or something is just coming in hella slow. Okay. And it's because there's things that you have to walk away from. What's this High Priestess? Or this could be an offer coming in. Maybe a younger earth sign coming in to help you with something. Yeah, nine of cups. Yeah, wish fulfillment. Yeah, this is... Yeah, so your wish is being granted here. Whatever wish that is for you, you're going to be very comfortable. The nine of cups also talks about sex, pleasure, feeling happy, feeling... Uh, it's, it talks about comfortability. It talks about um, feeling fulfilled, feeling happy. And the high priestess definitely talks about fertility, pregnancy. So for some of you, yeah, spirit is getting you prepared for a baby to come into the world. Or spirit is getting you prepared to birth something. I feel like your gifts are definitely increasing here. Right now, for, for some of you, you know, if you get pregnant right now, I feel like it's going to happen. And I feel like spirit is getting you prepared. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Yeah, you're getting ready to step into a leadership role or you're going to meet somebody that's on your level here. The Hierophant with the high priestess, those are counterparts. So yeah, marriage. Some of you guys could be getting ready to go into a long-term commitment that you maybe don't see coming or something like that. Let me see. What's this high priestess with the nine of cups? So this is you pulling. I feel like this is you being selfish with your energy, your time. You're not you're not overgiving anymore. It's like time off for that shit. What's the high priestess with the nine of cups? I, I'm hearing something about fruit. Some of you guys, yeah, see what I'm saying? That's that competition coming out. Yeah. People around you, you're, you're sensing that people around you are pretty greedy. I, I was getting ready to say, I hear something about fruit too. Some of you guys need to eat more fruit. Okay, I don't know where that came from. Six of Pentacles, yeah, Two of Cups. Yeah, your intuition could be going off about you doing too much for others or you letting people get away with shit like scot-free and, and not really saying anything about it or speaking up because I feel like you're very kind, you're very caring, you're very compassionate and you just, you know, you you let people do what the fuck they do and you let spirit handle it but spirit wants you to also handle it yourself in the 3D, like speak up for yourself and do it in a way where it's like you won't get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? It's ways of doing shit where you won't get go to spiritual jail and you won't go to damn real jail. But, you know, there, there's like fights and arguments or conflict going on. Or you, you sense that somebody around you is in competition with you and they're fucking greedy or they're selfish. Somebody here could drink a lot or they do too much of something. Somebody here likes to be combative or they like to fight you or they, they like to do something. You sense this. You sense that energy. Somebody's like in secret competition with you or something is what I'm getting with that. This person... Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, there could be shit going on that's just throwing you off. It's it's knocking you off your fucking cause you have tunnel vision for whatever you do for work or whatever you're trying to focus on. It's like people are trying to knock you off your square. That's exactly what they ass is doing. So what is hmm. So okay. What's this competition? Whoever you walked away from, they they're in regret. Or they're just sad that you walked away from their ass and they can't fucking do this shit to you anymore, you know. But what's this competition? card nine of swords yeah the will of fortune hmm, the death card yeah so so yeah um 
Yeah, I feel like you manifested something. You manifested a, 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 a very nice relationship. Yeah, Ten of Cups with the goddamn, the Magician, the Death card, and the, the Two of Cups. You manifested this relationship. So you, so now Spirit is getting you prepared for something that you've always wanted, right? You manifested a, somebody that's going to love you and, and, and be kind to you and respect you and be loyal to you and honor you for the person that you are and shit like that. You manifested this, so now it's coming in. For some of you, it might not be the person that... It might not be a person that you actually manifested. It could be somebody new because that other person is not ready. They're not ready to give you what you want is what I'm hearing. So it could be somebody new coming in for you or it could just be these new beginnings are happening. It doesn't even have to be another person. But you manifested something and it's coming in. And so now you're having to go through the process. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be prepared for what you manifest, guys. But I feel like you are. You're doing, you're doing what you need to do. But, um... So, so will of fortune in reverse with the nine of swords? Yeah, somebody mentally they're going through it. Whoever this is, whoever this is, is in competition with you. There's bad luck or bad karma. Somebody, somebody's uh, is being. I feel like somebody's really trapped in their head and their mind here. Somebody could be speaking down upon you, and so that's backfiring. Whatever they wish for you is manifesting for them. They could be gossiping about you or whatever. You know, that's a form of spell work as well. But the will of fortune is something not turning out in someone's favor. Definitely upheaval. Definitely chaos. It's karma. It's bad karma. For whoever these people are that's in secret competition with you or trying to put you down or whatever the fuck. Yeah, so that could be that could be what's going on around you here. And it's causing you stress or anxiety or you're... I don't know. It's bringing up fears that need to be handled. Because, I mean, at the end of the day... You know, it's, it's easy to say, oh, you shouldn't fear these people when you've been through some traumatic experiences. Like some of you guys have been through abuse, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, verbal, whatever. All of it's bad, you know. So, you know, this is a lesson here. What else for competition? This this chaos here that you're experiencing. And it's because other people are going through bad karma. I feel like that's not even you. That's other people around you that's going through shit that's projecting. They're just mad because you're moving forward and you pass your test. Or you're passing your test with flying colors and they're failing because of the kind of person that they are. Yeah, Knight of, Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, yeah, you turned your back on these, these people. I saw the Three of Wands. What else for competition? Yeah, the Hangman, yeah. Pisces energy. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Definitely felt that Jupiter, that Sagittarius energy. Somebody's getting bad karma, though. Their Jupiter's in reverse. <laughs> they're getting... Oh. Maybe that's flying. Okay, maybe it's nothing. But um, yeah, the Empress, the Chariot, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, the Temperance, yeah. You're you're being protected on your path here, guys. You're definitely being protected on your path. There's Sagittarius again, Taurus, Libra, Cancer. You could be dealing with. We're gonna pull signs to see. But uh, with the hangman, this is you looking at something from a different perspective, shifting the way you look at things, or a lot of these things that are being brought up. It's helping you to kind of like release. It's helping you to um to move forward, okay? Because you could be experiencing a time of stagnancy as well, but it's because you're clearing something out. It's time for you to release and shift your perspective or something like that. For some of you, it's, there's people around you that are just stuck in their lives. They're miserable. They're stuck. They're sad. They keep focusing on the past. They keep focusing on what happened in the past, holding grudges or whatever the fuck. And you've grown and you've moved on. So I just I just see a bunch of people that are that is um projecting onto you. And they're throwing you off your fucking, you know, balance. That's the reason why I had to take two weeks off. You know what I'm saying? Because there's been a lot of upheaval, a lot of... I feel like a lot of people are doing spell work and some more shit. Because you're getting ready to upgrade. You're going through an ascension. So, what's this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Yeah, Five of Swords. Yeah, the mind games, the mind control, the being a gaslighter, a narcissist, a goddamn loser... Okay, this is you having to defend yourself, yeah, as well. With the Five of Swords, it doesn't have to mean um, playing mind games or trying to win at all costs. This also talks about defending yourself, standing up for yourself, fighting back, yeah, and being strong with your boundaries. Judgment with the Ace of Swords, being blunt, being raw in your communication, and whether people like it or not is on them. Who gives a fuck? But this is you going through a spiritual awakening and making judgment calls here, being decisive about your decision making. Okay, definitely people from your past here that you're finding the truth out about as well. They're, they're under judgment. I feel like you're under judgment as well. Spirit is watching you to see what how, how you're going to move. See if you're going to listen to your intuition, Ace of Swords. See if you're going to think before you actually speak or go off on people. Yeah, there's a net. So that, that talks about, um, 
I don't know. It talks about transformation as well, but definitely somebody around you being pests or whatever the fuck. I forgot what else nets mean uh, spiritually. Maybe leave me some comments. I forgot. But definitely I know when nets come up, they they can mean uh, some form of uh, magic too. I'm hearing something definitely about energy harvesting or something. But but yeah, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aries Leo or Sag or those could be your signs with the judgment here. But yeah, this is this is learning a karmic lesson. So a lot of people around you are under judgment. You're under judgment as well to to elevate. I feel like you're under judgment because you're going to do what the fuck you need to do. But definitely with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse pair with the Five of Swords, a lot of these people, they are in competition with you. They, they want to win at all costs. They don't want to see you up. They don't want to see you win here. So they're going to try to sabotage these new beginnings or whatever this is, your happiness, your success, whatever. They're, 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 they're getting their karma for doing this, though. Now is the time for them to get their karma. I'm hearing something about half truths. Like these people, they just want to be a part of your life in some type of way. And they want to look good to you. They want to look, um, they want you to believe what they're saying. And I feel like they tell half truths because they, they don't want to be looked at as a goddamn loser, but deep down inside, that's what they are though. But they just want to have, they want, they want the door to be cracked open so that way they can come in and, 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 and be with you and be around you and shit like that. King of Wands. What's what's the what's the nine of swords? So yeah, page of swords. Yeah, didn't I say gossip? I said gossip. Page of swords, nine of swords is definitely gossip too. When it's in reverse, it could be malicious gossip. But even when it's upright, I feel like somebody's being haunted. Definitely that. I also feel like um. So yeah, page of swords is like a. You know, people around you are in competition with you, but they all they do is sit back and watch you. They would never say what the fuck they're really trying to do or what's the, what the fuck is really up with them. They're going to sit back and watch you and talk shit amongst their, their raggedy ass friends and family members and whoever the fuck else. You know what I'm saying? Page of Swords talks about um, paranoia as well. Talks about, but it definitely talks about fighting against injustice. Yeah, I feel like you're learning a lot of things. You're gaining a lot of knowledge here about a lot of people i feel like you're watching people too you're watching what people would do just so it can confirm what you've thought intuitively this whole time about these folks or whatever the fuck is going on around you okay page of swords with the nine of swords though i feel like somebody is definitely gossiping i feel like they're they're watching you they're they're they, they they're they're learning from you though that's what's crazy but you know that they're up to no good this could talk about delayed communication as well delayed news so things have been put on hold for a while because there's people around you that you still haven't cleared out. So so for a lot of you, right, <clears throat> you've had people in your life that you've thought that you've really got rid of because you've been moving on with your life. Everything has been going good and da-da-da-da-da. But now you've really, really done a lot of work on yourself. And so now it's time to really, um, Spirit wants you to really focus on this part of your life that needs to be cleared out. And this is a big test because it's hard. That's the reason why it's been put off for so long. Because it's something hard that you have to do. So there could be communication coming in from someone. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be. But there could be communication, delayed communication. Here, I feel like uh, something is taking a lot of patience, too. Oh. Okay, kids outside playing. Something, that's, something could be taking a lot of patience. A lot of, um, I don't know. Whatever this is that has been delayed or been put on hold for a long time, it, it could just be taking a lot of patience here. Or, or whoever this is you were dealing with or whatever, they ask is getting karma. And now they're looking back at you. They're, they're worried. They're stressed. They're being haunted. What's this hangman? Yeah, Ten of Swords is a star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or you could be an Aquarius that's watching. But yeah, the Ten of Swords, yeah. And the star. There's there's definitely the worst of a situation is over when I see these two cards come out together. The worst of a situation is over. There's going to be a positive shift or a positive turnaround. I feel like your faith, your prayer, your spirit guides are around you here because you're meant you're destined for something greater than whatever this is, obviously. This is not your life. You're not meant to live this these this life with these people. You're meant to learn from them and move forward. And I feel like now is the time. For you to kind of like heal you're healing from a betrayal you're trying to release the betrayal the hurt the pain the um the being anxious or worried or being scared of these people 
Um, I feel like a lot of spiritual shit could be happening. You know, a lot of, um, they could be pretending like, that's why I feel like they're shape-shifting. They could be pretending like they're really all for you and all for your success and whatever the fuck else. But they're really behind the scenes and in the 5D. These people could be doing spell work. They could be doing anything to kind of like bring you down spiritually. Some of you guys could be very spiritual. You're in the, the public eye. Okay. You know, you're destined for something great. So the ending of a situation is over. You're trying to release hurt, pain, heartbreak, you know, betrayals, whatever this is that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Moving forward. Three of wands, eight of wands, judgment. Yeah. Some of y'all are definitely getting ready to go into a new relationship. But this is you healing. Spirit is, is trying to get you to heal so you can move forward. And I feel like obviously you're doing the work. Yeah. So. Some of you guys could be going through a divorce. You married somebody that was in competition with your ass. It's like, what the fuck? You guys could be seeing 555. Five, five, so definitely major changes. What's the what's beginning spirit? What's this beginning card? Ten of Wands, yep, in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. Wow, beautiful. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer with the Moon at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So, so this is you dropping burdens. Wow, I just got chills. Yeah, you you're letting go. You're you're letting something go. You're offloading. You are offloading any any type of bullshit. Any any problems. Any whatever. Whatever trying to weigh you down is 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 being shed here. You're, you're, you're letting go of old shit. You're releasing the past. You're learning how to get rest, too. Some of you guys need to learn how to get rest. You overwork yourself until you fucking get sick. Okay, it's time to get some rest. It's time to enjoy what you've created and obtained for yourself. It's time for you to actually be happy. Some of you guys are pregnant. The Nine of Pentacles is pregnancy. The sun is pregnancy. Or you're very fertile at this time. Spirit is getting you prepared to bring a spare baby in the world. Another human that's going to actually uh, be an earth angel or somebody that's going to actually help humanity. Yeah, it's time for you to birth, you know, a new baby or this is you just glowing up like this is you healing your inner child as well. Doing things that make you feel happy to make you feel whole. Yeah, it's like you're letting this go, whatever this is and for you. Wow. Yeah, ten of wands and reverses. Something is over, the stress, the burdens, the whatever the fuck. And all people can sit back and do is watch you and try to be in competition with you and bring that that's why you're being tested. The spirit is 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 this is this is these people bring a stupid shit your way. Yeah. Hmm. This is nice. A lot of things are also being exposed too. You're being enlightened about a lot of things. A lot of people that try to hide shit or I hide shit from you for a very long time, especially spiritually. It's going to be exposed. I feel like your business is going to flourish if you have a business. Okay, yeah, then I just say business. We have the King of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Definitely, for some of you, you're working on a business. You're working on a new, uh, you're at a new job or, or whatever the fuck. But I feel like a lot of you guys are very self-sufficient. You're independent. You're meant to be an entrepreneur. Okay, you're meant to um, help raise the vibration of people in the in, on this planet here. You know? A lot of you guys will be finding out that you, you're a star seeds and everything else. Yeah, but now is your time to shine, guys. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse? <laughs> Definitely saying ten ten as well. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, pre preparation for a new beginning. Yeah, um, the devil, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there's people here trying to hold on to you. For some of you, you have a thief around you. Somebody's like a thief or they're just they're just like energy harvesting. They want to be possessive, controlling. They want to keep you to themselves. So they're trying to manipulate their way back in or do whatever the fuck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Something could have happened around that Capricorn new moon that we had. Or was it a full moon? I forgot which one it was. But definitely a lot of chaos. <laughs> definitely a lot of fucking chaos. Seven of Swords with the devil. Yeah, somebody's toxic. Somebody's a thief. Somebody's a liar, a cheater, a con or whatever the fuck they are. They're, it's all bad though. Four of Pentacles, somebody's like possessive, very controlling, very greedy, very selfish. This could also be you trying to strategize different ways to move around this, this bullshit here, pulling your energy back. You could be also realizing that that's what you were doing, right? Because at the end of the day, 
you know, you shouldn't have to, I mean, some people you do have to strategize with, right? But you shouldn't have to sneak around or, or not want to be detected. You should be able to live your life freely. You shouldn't have people in your life that want to fucking control you and stop you from doing whatever the fuck you want to do. If people genuinely love you like they say that they do, they wouldn't be trying to do this bullshit. So I feel like in the past or, or maybe now for some of you, you're realizing that you shouldn't have to sneak around or feel like you're being controlled or feel like you're being held back. No, bitch. It's time for you to get the fuck out of my life. I'm going to kick you out of my life. And that's what it is. And if you don't like it, then okay. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, it's okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say about it. But I feel like this is what you've been doing just to try to um, keep peace with people. It's like you've been holding back or holding on to things that you really want to say or holding back the truth about what these people need to fucking hear. It's like, bitch, you're toxic. You know that you're toxic and you're trying to take, take me, you know, and pull me down with you. And it's like, no. And now people are mad because I feel like you're setting boundaries and you're standing your ground. You're not going to be played with anymore. And so they feel some type of way. But definitely, definitely um, a new beginning has happened or is starting for you or whatever. You're definitely um, getting, so a lot of you guys are getting new homes. You're, you're getting, your material world is being taken care of because you're, you're humble. You're not um, superficial. You help other people. You do what you have to do. You do what spirit wants you to do. You do the right thing. You're a good person. So you're being blessed. That's just period. A lot of people are just mean people. They're nasty. And so they're going to get what they deserve. Just like you get what you deserve if you're a nasty person. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's just people's time to get the fuck away. <laughs> like, I don't know what, the, what else to say, guys. What, what's the sun? But definitely a new beginning. Yeah, the king of swords setting boundaries. Yeah, for a lot of you, you might have to be taking uh, take a lot of these people to court here. Okay, a lot of court situations could possibly be going on for a lot of you. Yeah, you're Virgo. Um, I say Virgo, but you could be dealing with the Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, Gemini with the lovers here. Yeah, th th this is a connection here that's trying to come in. For some of you, have you have a lot of options in love here, but this could be a specific relationship that is coming in here after a time of, of introspection, healing, doing the work. A lot of sudden realizations, a lot of things happening out of the blue. A lot of it could just be a lot of chaos, you know. But it's calling you. It's causing for you to go within. It's causing you to do some soul searching, and um, figuring things out and shining a light on things. Because you're wise. You're very mature. You're very smart. You're very, you know. Yeah, a lot of you guys are destined to live a pretty long, healthy life too. Is what I'm picking up. Like, yeah, you're destined to be here for a while because you have spirit wants you to be here for a while. Shit. <laughs> spirit needs you here there's not honestly there's not too many chosen ones it's not a few are chosen not everybody's going to make it <laughs> you know but but with the king of swords yeah so this is you setting boundaries somebody uh maybe aquarius libra gemini or maybe a leo could be getting exposed but i feel like now that you're setting boundaries or you're speaking up for yourself or you're leading with integrity and you're being authentic you're being your true self things are being exposed and getting you in, in, uh, prepared for new beginnings i feel like you definitely took your power back you're you're in control of your own life now you're going to be with this nine of pentacles you're free that's freedom the sun and the, and the nine of pentacles is freedom so let's see what's this self-image spirit for the collective please what else do they need to hear you're the fool The full four of wands, eight of pentacles. Yeah. I keep getting people are actually getting their homes built. Some of you guys are actually getting a new home and your home is going to be built from the ground up. You work really, really hard for this. You put in a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, that costs a lot to get your home built. Okay. But, you know, congrats if that's the case. Some of you guys do work from home here. You're really focused on your home life, your stability, your security. Some of you guys are really working hard here. Some of you guys have really, really, you're, you're working on yourself to get prepared, like I said, for actual marriage. There's people around you that support you, though. There's a lot of people. There's people maybe that live locally or you're getting ready to reunite with people. That's a part of your soul tribe here. People from your past life that, that um, is coming back in this lifetime to um, support you on your path. That's people in your soul tribe. But definitely a new beginning with the full Aquarius, Aries energy. This is you not giving a fuck anymore is what I'm getting, especially under self-image. This is you taking a risk and um, maybe doing something. Some of you guys are getting a new job. I'm hearing something about modeling agencies or 
or you could be doing something that's um making you feel free again you feel fun you feel like you you feel good you look good you know even if people don't think you fucking look good who gives a fuck i feel like you don't care what people think about you anymore i'm like you don't care you're a lot of you are just starting not to care here you're focused on your work you're focused on whatever the fuck you're going to do and that's just what it is so and i feel like you're you're breaking free you're you're breaking free from people that are insecure and they're projecting that shit onto you like i was saying in the beginning you just don't care you're ready to take new risks you're ready to go on new adventures you're ready to live your life unapolog unapologetically you don't care just period Yeah, this is nice though. This is this is y'all breaking free. You're literally Yeah, with the, with all this yellow here that I'm seeing, definitely happiness, joy, success, victory over whatever this hateful shit is that's going on in the background. Now, now you're focusing on you. You're doing the right thing and you don't feel guilty about it anymore. You don't feel selfish. Maybe you do a little bit, but I feel like your spirit is going to help you release that feeling because it's not guilty. You shouldn't feel guilty or you shouldn't feel selfish for putting yourself first. Everybody else does it. You know what I'm saying? Like people do it and they do it in a malicious way. You're doing it because you need to do it. You're doing it because spirit is calling you to do it. And spirit is telling you that these people are no good. You know what I'm saying? So what's this? Um, What's this uh, four of wands? Yeah, some of you guys are getting ready to be celebrated. You're getting ready to be really, really supported on your journey. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Another card of confidence, freedom. Yeah, feeling bold, feeling courageous here. Some of you guys are performers or you do something on stage here. You're very good with your words, too. You're very charming. Or somebody is. For some of you, this is a younger fire sign that could be coming in to try to reunite with you. There's a lot of traveling that you guys could be doing as well. Some of you guys need to travel or you travel for work or that's what you want to do for a living. You want to travel for work. I'm hearing something about photography. Who's this Knight of Wands right here? For some of you, you have somebody that you're married to or that you were married to that was very much so a player. They were very much so in and out. Or this is what they're doing right now. Or you're suspecting that they're doing this here. But let's see, what's, who's this Knight of Wands? Okay, yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah, so this is somebody. Yeah, so it could be a younger fire sign here that's coming in. Somebody wants to heal something with you possibly, or this is just you healing. You're progressing. You're moving forward. Definitely a card of travel. Some of you guys could definitely be relocating or moving for work here, or, or you're moving somewhere else to focus on what you need to focus on. It's just time to move away from whatever this is, you know, Spirit is saying. But Six of Swords is healing. Um, Restoration is what I'm picking up as well. Definitely a vacation is needed or just a relocation. But this is moving things to calmer waters, peaceful resolutions here to, to any issues that you're having. Yeah, and then it's going to be a very much so a celebratory time. For some of you, this is somebody coming in that wants to reunite with you. Um, maybe this person, maybe you've known this person in a past life type of thing. Because a lot of people get reuniting and, and reconciliation as something that's that you are, like somebody that you already know that you've met here in this lifetime already, they could be coming back. But sometimes it could mean that um, you're reconciling with somebody from a past life, you know? So just take that with a grain of salt, really, you know? But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, a partnership could be falling apart too. A partnership could be falling apart or a partnership is coming in after you close the cycle. What's this um, Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, Nine of Wands. Yeah, so so a lot of you guys are really working hard here. Some of you guys definitely need to get rest for the, like the 50 millionth time. <laughs> get some rest. Don't work yourself too crazy. But the Nine of Wands, this is like the Wounded Warrior. This is like you not giving up, though. You're very persistent. You're dedicated to what you're working on. That's just period. I mean, a lot of you guys are very much so hard workers. You're going to keep working to regardless. But I feel like some of you guys are just wounded. You need to rest. There could be people at your job or somebody that, that you now work with or somebody that you, I don't know, that's jealous of you. Yeah, you need rest. See what I'm saying? Four of Swords, the Devil, Four of Pentacles, Seven. Hmm. Yeah, this, whatever this is, what's this Eight of Pentacles with this Nine of Wands? 
Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody's just very competitive. This person could even be abusive. Every time I get the King of Wands in reverse, they are abusive. I get that. I get abused physically. But if it's not that, this could be you or this could be somebody in your energy that's fucking um, lacking the confidence or lacking or somebody just not being assertive. You could be guarding yourself from someone here. It's like someone's guarded and not taking action or just maybe being a bit lazy or something like that. I don't know. It's like somebody can't focus on something or somebody's trying to take your focus off of something. But the king of wands in reverse, I don't know. I don't like them in reverse, though. This is somebody that's very hot-headed. They're hot-tempered. They get mad. They're very jealous. They're very competitive. They're very hot-headed. Very arrogant and cocky. Obnoxious. A tyrant. This is somebody that could be trying to oppress you here. Who's this king of wands in reverse? This person. Yeah, the temperance. You're being somebody that you're being protected from. <laughs> Sagittarius energy could be a Sag. Yeah, so I feel like this is somebody here that's testing your patience. This person, they're just, I don't know, I feel like they're very jealous of your work. I feel like they watch your work and they're just jealous of it or something. This person, I don't know, they haven't changed their ways. <laughs> but this is you. You're. I feel like Spirit is telling you to just be patient with yourself. You know, and it's just, it's kind of hard here. To be patient with yourself and somebody that's kind of like treating you this way or doing whatever the fuck they're doing. 11-11 on the clock. So definitely new beginnings. You guys could be seeing 11-11 a lot. Or just for some of you, this reading could be about your twin flame or something like that. But definitely... I feel like somebody's very mean. They're just very hateful. For some of you, this is just somebody here that just doesn't have the confidence to come towards you. This person is very guarded. They continue to be very guarded or something like that. Hmm. This is full. Yeah, you're you're guarding yourself from whoever this is. You're, you're being protected. You're definitely being protected. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Wow. Queen of Swords, the fool. Then we have the King of Swords. So definitely for some of you, you're going through a divorce. You're turning your back on somebody. You're setting boundaries and somebody else is doing the same shit. So for some of you, this is definitely maybe could be a counterpart. You and your person are marrying each other. You're doing the same shit. You and your twin flame for some of you or some of you, you're just going through a divorce. But definitely two matches here. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. What's, who's this Queen of Swords right here? Yeah, the death card. Yeah, so something is ending. I feel like you're ending something in your life. You're letting it go. Scorpio energy. You're transforming. You're renewing yourself. You're pur purifying your energy. Just period. You're setting boundaries. And you're being very, very... I feel like somebody here just matches your energy, though. You could be meeting another air sign. Or you could be dealing with an air sign like yourself. Or you could have air in your chart somewhere in a dominant place. Okay? But definitely two intelligent people. Two people that know what they want type thing. But for some of you, this is a divorce. I'm going to just say that. But, you know, you're just having to turn your back on people. And you're ready for this new beginning. Ready to take new risk? Yeah, just period. So, moving on. What's this poor health? What's this poor health card? Hmm. Four swords, the three of pentacles, and the seven of cups. Hmm. So, this is a meditative energy. This is healing. Somebody could be working with other people to cause you illusions or confusion mentally and emotionally for some of you and financially shit. You got mental, uh, financial and uh, emotional with the seven of cups. Some of you guys need to, to go to therapy, maybe for mental health issues, possibly, or you're dealing with somebody that's like this. But the Four Swords talks about um, you could be feeling a bit stressed, feeling a bit overwhelmed. You do need to get rest or something like that. Some of you guys could be getting hospitalized or somebody could be in the hospital right now. Or you're needing to. Maybe you're kind of sick or somebody could be sick or something. Or somebody here trying to do this shit to you. If you've been feeling sick or down or more lazy or just more like you're not up for certain things, it could be somebody is teaming up with other people to bring you down and that form in that way um because seven of cups is like illusions some of you guys could be dreaming you're having dreams about people doing this shit to you 
Okay, so that maybe this is confirmation that they are. What's the Seven of Cups? Three of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So you see through whatever the confusion is. Some of you guys could be just having a lot going on here. You have a lot of options. You have a lot of choices, a lot of decisions to make, and you're confused. Okay, there could be a partnership that is trying to form. Because the Three of Pentacles talks about growth, expansion, um, new opportunities with other people, collaborations, networking. But for some of you, this is you seeing through whatever the illusions are and, and realizing the truth about something. Three of Wands is definitely having a sense of foresight here, looking towards your future, waiting for new opportunities or your ships to come in. Uh, definitely travel, a card of travel here. But there's mental clarity coming in. Or you've received clarity about something and you turned your back on something and now somebody is trying to like fuck with your health or fuck with the way that you see things. Because you see through something. It's like you, you don't miss it. You're not missing it. So if somebody thinks that you are, you're not. And if somebody's trying to make you sick, it's going to backfire. But let's see. Yeah, three of pentacles, three of wands. Definitely third party. Yeah, two of wands, the devil. Yeah, somebody is like planning to... Or you're just leaving this devil energy behind. You know that somebody is just stealing this devil energy though with them upright. I feel like... Somebody's either planning to come towards you to do some stupid shit or something. What's what's this uh, Three of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles. What's this Three of Pentacles with this Page of Pentacles? Yeah, the devil. Thank you, Spirit, for confirming. I, I, that's why I could clarify. So we have the Queen of Cups with the devil. So somebody here could be watching Tarot here is what I thought, right? The, the, somebody here, there could be, um, for some of you, this is your own mother or your father or somebody around you that's like doing spell work on you or watching. They're like obsessed with watching you, with watching Tarot here. They watch Tarot to get answers. There's like people that's gang stalking you is what I'm hearing. There's like people that's watching you. You turned your back on these people or this, this particular person. Now they're getting other people to team up and they need a whole fucking team. You don't need anybody. You stand alone. For some of you, there's somebody that's really codependent on your energy. They need your your energy they need that good energy to thrive and so they're trying to get you back or they're trying to pull you back in energetically or by using their yeah by by using their intuition or they, they spy on you with their mind here maybe doing some type of spell work with their their mind or you know like uh, some type of mirror magic or something yeah it's because uh, hmm Somebody's obsessed with either doing spell work or watching you. This is like somebody planning. The, the page of pentacles with the um, three of pentacles is planning. That's strategizing. That's trying to plant a seed. Okay, somebody could be doing something to your finances too. That's why you feel the way that you feel or you don't feel up to doing your work anymore. Or you feel like you're losing passion for it. It's because somebody's doing it. Somebody's doing that to you. For some of you, you have somebody around you that's like, um, very yes, very codependent on your energy. But they could be using, if you have a child with this person, they could be using the child as a pawn. For some of you, this is your damn baby daddy or your baby uh, mother or something. What's this for a swords? Excuse me. <clears throat> this is for a swords. Yeah, seven of, seven of wands in reverse, the strength card. Yeah, five of pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Somebody is just like tugging on your energy. That's what this is. Like there's people around you. There's there could be multiple people, three or more people that's like doing this shit. Seven of Wands in reverse is somebody feeling weak. Somebody feeling weak or drained or feeling defeated or whatever the fuck. I feel like somebody does feel defeated because you're too strong. You're too strong to kind of like so it's backfiring. I do feel like something is backfiring on someone because your energy is too powerful for them to fuck with you. So they ask is like. Somebody here could just be broke. They could be trying to steal from you or take from you or something like that. I feel like they just see that you have more than them. So they want what you have type shit. That's just jealousy. That's envy. Could be dealing with a Leo. Somebody that's very prideful, very arrogant, just very... um. Somebody that's trying to tame you here. This person wants to tame you or they feel like you're doing too much or you have too much. So I feel like for a lot of you, if you haven't gotten rest yet, this could be confirmation that you need to get rest so that way you can you can uh, build your strength back up because you could be feeling weak physically for some of you. For others of you, this is this person that feels this way because maybe you feel fine, but there's somebody else around you that feel this way. 
they feel uh, somebody's like now having to surrender or just let it go like yeah let the fuck go let it go it's not working anymore somebody here also could be trying to um gain strength and courage to come towards you because they're surrendering to the connection after a time of healing what's the seven of wands in reverse yeah, King of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, so so for for some of you, there there's somebody in your energy that's um yeah we have wow we have the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. So yeah, there there there's somebody. I feel like somebody just just obsessed with you too. They watch you a lot. Whoever this is, they watch you. And I feel like you've made your choice to turn your back on someone because somebody just I don't know maybe they they do fuck with you for real, but they they have these toxic attachments or they're around people that are unhealthy for them and that's bringing them down they can't they can't fuck with you with that energy it's just like it's a no you're gonna have to get rid of those people in order for you in order for this person in order for y'all's relationship to grow right but the king of cups with the queen of cups here that's another match this person here is trying really really hard to maintain and control their emotions for you here after this person is thinking a lot they're in their head a lot Whoever this is has hidden emotions for you. They have hidden feelings for you, but their ego and their pride has been too big. They've, their ego and their pride has gotten in the way. <clears throat> and they're very codependent. There's like some codependency here with somebody. So yeah, so yeah, you could be getting new love here. Ace of Cups with the Eight of Wands with the King of Swords. Something is taking off fast. If some of you guys are in a new relationship, that shit is taking off really, really quickly. You could be dealing with an air sign or a water sign. But yeah, this is somebody coming in very quick. They could be younger than you. This could be a new love option coming in. This person can live at a distance, but they're coming to travel to see you or something like that. Yeah. So let's see. Hmm. Very interesting spread, um, guys. So let's pull, let's get some advice. What is the advice for the collective spirit? What else do you want them to know? This person doesn't like to show weakness. Whoever this King of Cups is, this is a match of yours, but they don't like to. Mm, I just feel like you're over it, really. This person has codependency issues. They are your match, but they could be your twin. This person could be a twin flame of yours. You're being protected from them. It's like you're blocked from dealing with them right now. Because they could have poor health. They could be the ones with the poor health from dealing with these other people. But let's get let's get some advice, Spirit. What's the advice for the collective? What do they need to hear? <clears throat> so bottom of the deck, we have successful completion. So the world, number 21. It says, this is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many new spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey, but for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Yeah. So, so yeah, just relax. <laughs> relax, you know. Six of swords. Yeah, six of thoughts. So, let's see what else. Yeah, cycle has closed out or it's closing. You're in the midst of it. What else? So we have four of thought, four of swords. Yeah, another card of resting. Some of you guys can be seeing four, four, four as well. It says spend time in nature. I definitely told you guys to be doing this. Okay, just, it's just spirit is just confirming what I'm feeling intuitively. It says spend time in nature, listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice, because overanalyzing the situation won't provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation. <laughs> Or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful. So yeah, a lot of you guys need to need to do that. Okay, now is the time of healing and restoring your energy, so that way you can move forward um, with ease. You know, it won't be so it won't be so hard to move forward and move out of whatever this is, this drama, or whatever the fuck. You know. So we have number five. Embrace those around you. This is the Hierophant. Number five. It says this is it. So you could be dealing with the Taurus. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or, have, or you could be those signs or whatever. But it says, this is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. 
So yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have Healer of Action. Who's Healer of Action? Let me read it. So it says, this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. I'm getting maybe the King of Wands, but I don't know. I don't know who the, what the healer of action is, but that's just some advice for you. <laughs> okay, Eight of Cups, Eight of Emotion. Hmm. Messenger of Emotion, so Page of Cups. Yeah, so that's your advice. Let's see. Let's pull something else. Let's pull some other cards for you guys. Let's get some more. Um... Let's pull this one. Let's pull this deck here. This deck is called um, Angels Among Us. Okay. So your angels, spirit guides, saints, ascended masters. Let's get a card. Let's see. Give us one card, spirit, for the collective. What do they need to hear? What do they need to hear at this time? Okay, bottom of the deck is number 29, Lord Ganesha. Removal of obstacles, and it says clear path ahead. So we're going to take that one. Let's get another one. What else for the collective spirit? Okay, so we got number 18, Mother Mary. Purity of heart, conception, and faith. Yeah, so for a lot of you... Yeah, so if you have been having fertility issues, I feel like you're going to be fine here. You are. Then we have number one, Archangel Hanyo. Friendship, psychic ability, and moon cycles. Bottom of the deck, we have number 20, St. Bridget. Passion, growth, and fire. Okay? So let's see. Let's read um, number 29. Let's see what, what that one was. Lord Ganesha. So who is that? That is a god or a goddess. Okay, so page 99. Some of you guys will be seeing 99 or a lot of nines here, possibly. That's number 18, that's the moon. So it says, Lord Ganesha is the Hindu god known as the remover of obstacles. He is known to open roads and clear blocks, allowing for more ease on life's journey. Ganesha can help you to control the desires, habits, and thoughts that may distract you from your best and highest path known as the patron of arts and the sciences ganesha is the diva or deva d-e-v-a of intellect and wisdom and the god of new beginnings the oracle is the road ahead is clear move forward with focus and courage okay it says for love and relationships if things have felt a bit a bit stuck and stagnant in relationships they may start clearing now do your part to clear up misunderstandings put yourself and your true feelings out there so you can move forward for work Stay open to new opportunities. Take action to change your situation for your home life. Clear paths in your home. Put things away. Clear any physical obstacles to help shift energetic energetic ones. It says for money. Work through any money blocks that may be keeping you stuck financially. For your well-being, it says take some time to journal on the places and spaces you feel stuck and stagnant in your life. Set some intentions to make changes in those areas to begin to shift that energy. For spirituality, it says visualize all roads open ahead of you. You may like to work with a road opening spell. See any blocks being removed from your auric fields and know that the path ahead is clear. Work with yoga, chakra clearing, incense, and other cleansing tools and practices. Okay, so it says call on Lord Ganesha for assistance with shifting any stuck or stagnant energy, anything in your life that has that has uh, paused, space clearing, chakra clearing, Controlling your desires, habits, and thoughts, new starts, anything relating to arts and sciences. Embody the energy of Lord Ganesha by visualizing all roads being open ahead of you, realizing that most of your blocks are self-created and this means they can be self-cleared. Believing in yourself, taking steps towards your dreams, even if you can't see the whole path ahead. Okay, so so a lot of you guys could be getting guided, could be being guided by Lord Ganesha right now. That's a that's a, a god or a goddess here. Okay. So, so call on this, call on this angel or this God to help you to clear your path. 
Some of you guys have been doing that. It's working. <laughs> it's definitely working. Let's see. Archangel Haniel, number 35. So we have Archangel Haniel's name means joy of God or grace of God. And she is the angel of psychic insights and abilities, intuition, and femininity. And Archangel Haniel is aligned with the energy of the moon and can help you to connect with the moon and its cycles as well as work with the cycles of your own body, the world around you, the seasons, equinoxes, etc., and the cycles of your own life. Aligned with the throat, heart, and third eye chakras, Archangel Haniel is a powerful ally to call in when doing any kind of psychic development or intuitive work. The oracle is intuitively honor the cycles of your life. Allow yourself time to rest and go slow as well as time to bloom and thrive. So it says for your love and relationships, focus on your friendships, nurture your existing relationships, and hold the vision for new friends to come into your life. Okay. It says for work, know when you are most productive and when you need to pull back energetically. Plan your working day, week, or month ahead around your own cycles. For your home, invite your friends over for a full or new moon circle. For money, prosperity is a flow of give and take. Pay attention to how money cycles in and out of your life and use this knowledge to create the prosperity you seek. For well-being, it says honor your inner cycles, listen to your body, and pay attention to your energy levels. Rest when you need to rest. Okay, for the 50 millionth time. <laughs> Okay, a lot of y'all need to go to bed, get some rest, or just lay in bed for a day, if you can, you know. For spirituality, it says work on your psychic development through joining a development circle or, co or coven. Attend events where you learn and grow spiritually, but also meet like-minded people, new friends, and soul family. It says call on Archangel Haniel for assistance with developing your psychic skills, being able to hear the voice of your intuition, working with the moon, your menstrual cycle, burnout, lethargy, connecting with earth cycles and seasons, seasonal affective disorder. So that's what you call on for that. So some of you guys could be feeling lethargic. It does say poor health. Yeah, and I feel like it's because of a toxic attachment really. Yeah, you probably do need your rest. You probably are overworking, but I feel like it's because of people around you, possibly for some of you, right? Because they could be tugging on your energy. They're stressing you the fuck out. But then we have embodied the energy of Archangel Haniel by honoring the cycles of your life, giving yourself permission to rest, answer, answering the call when inspiration strikes, nurturing your friendships, listening to your intuition, and trusting your psychic hits, okay? So, yeah. I might as well read Mother Mary, too. I wasn't going to read it, but let's read it. <laughs> might as well read that one as well. So let's see. Mother Mary is a saint and an ascended master. So that's page 67. I would recommend everybody to buy this deck. This is a really nice deck, really. I got this from Amazon. So it says, Mother Mary is known throughout the world as the mother of God or the mother of Jesus. She is a mother goddess available to anyone who needs support and nurture and can be especially powerful to call on for healing mother and child relationships healing your own relationship with your mother or mother figures in your life or healing the relationship with your own children. Mother Mary can be called upon by anyone from any belief system or spiritual path. Her motherly love is available to us all. The oracle is you are loved, you are held, and you are safe. Let yourself rest in the arms of the divine mother. For your love and relationships, look at healing your relationship with your mother or any other mother figures in your life and the relationships you have with your own children. For work, you may be called to take the role of mother in your work through nurturing others. Birth your projects into the world. For your home life, love and nurture your home by taking care of things that need fixing and decorating. Bring roses or other flowers into your home. What did I just say? I just said something to somebody. I forgot which reading about if you don't have, if, if people aren't bringing you flowers, buy yourself some flowers. I forgot who I said that for, man. Yeah, or more plants or something. For, uh, for money, it says, have faith that all your needs will be met. For your well-being, become your own mother and nurture yourself. Give yourself whatever it is you need. For your spirituality, connect with the pure heart of your inner child through meditation, journaling, and play. Heal your inner child by listening to them and asking them what they most want and need to feel safe in the world. Call on Mother Mary for assistance with mother healing, parenting, fertility or pregnancy, adoption, mothering and nurturing, inner child work, giving birth to ideas and projects, listening to divine guidance, and having faith. Embody the energy of Mother Mary by nurturing yourself, mothering yourself, nurturing and mothering others, taking care, I mean, taking action on divine guidance and giving birth to your divinely guided ideas and projects. So, okay, that should, 
that's to take care of that guys that should be um really helpful on your journey with whatever it is that you, you're needing to do okay so let's um let me move these right here hold on guys so we're an hour and 14 minutes in okay that's fine it is what it is so let's see let's pull from the love your inner goddess okay this could be for a man or woman just because it says goddess doesn't mean anything because i know men love my channel as well so let's see let's get one card here guys angels for the collective what do they need to hear what is most important for them to hear at this time please and thank you what do they need to hear let's see this is one of my favorite decks i got this one from off amazon as well so we have rock star bottom of the deck so let's see what else what do they need to hear bottom of the deck we have hero okay then we have um be there for you okay there's another card of resting i get that i get i get self-love with that resting taking care of yourself pampering yourself pleasuring yourself doing whatever the fuck makes you happy <laughs> okay so let's see page 26 be there for you okay so it says in a reading it's time to let yourself off the hook. Don't interrupt the behavior of other people or circumstances outside of your control to indicate something negative about you. Okay. Hmm. Forgive yourself for anything that you feel you have done wrong. You can learn from your choices more easily if you stop punishing yourself whenever you feel that you've made a mistake. Even the decisions that we regret can help us grow wiser when we swap judgment for compassion. Sometimes we can only learn what we need to know from what doesn't work out so well at the time. Forgive yourself, have your own back, and be good to you. Okay, it says, for your spiritual guidance, you have an open, sensitive, beautiful heart. Sometimes the world cannot meet that heart of yours on equal terms. Sometimes the hearts of others are just too closed and afraid. Yeah, that's okay because it's part of why you were born, to help heal and open the hearts of the world. You are wise and you know your purpose is to shine the beauty of your divine heart freely for all to experience. You never have to close down or turn away from that sacred purpose in the world, but you do deserve to be safeguarded and protected, yeah. Know that you have your own back. When fearful, angry people lash out in pain, trying to hurt others because they cannot get past their own hurt, do not make it about you. Your heart knows how to love you and protect you while it's it, while it's, it has compassion for the suffering that another may be feeling. Remember that you must be there for yourself, nurturing your own heart with plenty of love. Give to yourself just as you give to the world with kindness and generosity. Don't allow anyone or anything to make you don't allow anyone or anything make you forget what is real and true, the wisdom and love that fills your own divine heart and helps heal the world. Yeah, that's what I was saying for you guys, man. People are mad because you're taking time for yourself and you're pulling back your energy. And it's not because you don't fuck with them. I mean, for a lot for a lot of them you don't fuck with them no more because of how they treated you. And that's something that they that they need to heal on their own and, and work through, right? But it doesn't have anything to do with you. It has more so to do with them and their insecurities. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you're going through right now. And it's just time to release those people. It's like you've been, like I said, you've been walking on eggshells. You've been trying to keep peace because you don't want people to lash out or get mad at you for choosing yourself. They, they'll, they'll run guilt trips on you and make you feel bad about wanting to break free from their toxic ass. And it's like, okay, yeah, you still have compassion and you care, but it's just like it's time to move forward. And then I feel like you have somebody else here that is your match. They could be your twin, but this person is not ready. I feel like they are trying to surrender, though. The, the strength card with the seven of wands in reverse and the king of cups, yeah, they're trying to let go of that um, codependency. I feel like they're very codependent or scared of abandonment or scared of neglect or scared of being hurt. So they have their feelings, you know, but... Anywho, so it says for your sacred ritual, it says place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Sway a little from side to side. Imagine that you that as you sway, there's a river of energy that travels between your two hands. The river of energy swirls and flows around your hips and your heart, leaving you feeling inspired and really, really good. You now have twice that amount of energy. Say aloud, I am a fortress of divine love. I stand strong in my divine presence. I am peacefully and powerfully me with a beautiful heart divinely protected. Okay. A, that's a nice card to have that's a nice card that came out for you guys so let's see <laughs> excuse me let's see what else spirit wants you to know let's pull from the um the self-love oracle 
I got this deck from Amazon as well. So let's get a card for you guys. What else does um, the collective need to know, Spirit? What else do they need to know for their highest good and their, their past currently? Let's see. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, yeah, we have number 37, Mourn. It says, grieving can be overwhelming but necessary. We are cleansed by letting our feelings wash through us. Only then we can move past the pain. Yeah. Yeah, so there it is. I mean, there could be, there is a lot of mourning here. Walking away from people that you necessarily maybe don't want to walk away from or that possibly really do need help. You can see that they need help because you're an empath or empath or however you say it. <laughs> I say empath. But you can see that people need help. And so you don't want to walk away, but they're, they're tugging on you. They're pulling you down. So... What else? What what is um the collective needs to know? All right, thank you. Number nineteen, pay it for bottom of the deck. Be the answer to someone else's prayer. Helping others can be the quickest way to help ourselves. Yep. So then we have number three. Know you are worthy. Abundance is everywhere around you. Feel worthy and open yourself up to receive the many gifts that await you. Okay. Let's see. Page twenty four. It says, it's a natural tendency to focus on what we lack. Money, time, rest, a little luxury, good food, a better job, more supportive environments. As an alternative, we can examine what we have now and how we can how we came to have it, asking why we continue to experience lack despite this abundance. Hmm. Our external measures of personal worth, possessions, job, titles, money, may not accurately reflect the real worth of our talents, efforts, and intentions. What feels inadequate for us may seem like extravagance to others and vice versa. So it is likely unhelpful to compare ourselves with others. If you feel there is something that you lack and you're currently stuck in that feeling, try shifting your energy by shifting your focus. Give thanks for all that you have, including the traits in yourself that helps you get where you are. Focus on those traits, your personal gifts. Acknowledge your patience, your perseverance, your, your sense of responsibility, your appreciation for quality, and so on. In doing so, you will have a new appreciation and awareness of yourself and what you bring into the world. If you still desire more, you may realize that you need to expand or change your routines and or your investment in the necessary resources before you can obtain whatever still eludes you. Realize that you are inherently worthy and that you are still learning to manifest your desires. We all learn best from experience. Wow. Nice message. Yeah, so like I said, you guys are manifesting something more than what you have, okay? You want more, and there's nothing wrong, wrong, wrong with wanting more as long as you're grateful for what you do have and you're making the best out of what you do have, right? But with you wanting more, I definitely feel like, okay, Ned, <laughs> I definitely feel like um, because you want more and you're manifesting it and you're making those moves, spirit is clearing it out. And when, you know, spirit clears something out, there's people and places and things that have to go, you know? that's just what it is so let's pull from the secret language of light i went to a metaf metaphysical store to get this deck okay so maybe go to your nearest metaphysical store or you can order this from um etsy or amazon it should, they should have it on either one of those um websites right but it's called the secret language of light transmissions from your soul okay let's get one card spirit one card. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have soul love, number 33. Some of you guys could be seeing 33 a lot. I know I do. I've been seeing that a lot. I mean, these cards might not come out right because they, they're a little thick. So let's see. Let's see if we can get one that comes out without it being stubborn because I like I like my jumpers I don't really like okay thank you spirit <laughs> so we have number 28 inner voice bottom of the deck we have number 35 light beings hmm that sounds interesting but let's read number 28 inner voice let's see what's going on with that one so it says um tune into your inner compass it says persistent words and feelings that represent your greatest desires are dropping into your mind. Instead of putting life off until you do or be something in the future, bring your desires into the present. 
Anytime we feel like we have gone off track, we have traveled a different road to our soul and everything becomes a signpost to return us to our center where we can tune into our wise transmissions. Yeah, transmissions. Just as the voice of a GPS navigator tells you which way to go, your soul wisdom is always leading you towards your destination. Neither will scold you or become impatient if you take the wrong route. They will just adjust, find an alternate route, and give you new directions. You can't get it wrong. Listen to reoccurring words and ideas. Pay attention to how they feel and drive forward with the ones that make your face and heart smile. Yeah, that's, that's been something too, guys, that I've been doing as well. There's like a, a big test that happened in my life, and I had to really listen to my intuition. I kept going back and forth on something, but like I feel good when I make the decision. Like, okay, hmm, maybe this sounds cool, and I'll let it go probably for like a day or two, but then it comes back up, and then I'll let it go again, and it comes back up. That's your intuition. Always listen to your inner voice, even if you don't know why you feel that way and you don't have to explain to no no damn body about why you made the, the choice you made you made the choice you made because spirit is calling you to make that choice if it feels right and if you feel it it keeps coming up that's your intuition it's it's a difference too obviously um intuition and fear is two different things that's your ego fear is your ego you know so so i've learned that when something keeps popping back up even if i feel good about making the wrong decision at that moment and it feels right it feels good at that moment if it keeps popping back up again that's your intuition that's your intuition so definitely listen to that even if you don't know why it doesn't matter <laughs> you don't need to know why you know what i'm saying so i feel like you know somebody needed to hear that message because i just got tested too with that because um something somebody was explaining something to me that sounded good it sound right it, it felt right maybe in the moment but but then again it did not it didn't feel right and that and and it all came down to me having to make a certain type of decision that was best and what spirit was telling me to do and you always find find out later why that was the best decision you know what i'm saying you don't have to explain to a damn soul about why you made a decision you made always remember that it doesn't matter no is a no a yes is a yes and if they don't like it they can just move around you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't really get that. A lot of people don't understand their intuition. They don't understand God. They don't understand when spirit is trying to speak to them. They're too busy, caught up in some other shit or trying to do things to one-up you or do whatever the fuck, you know? But definitely listen to yourself. It says, inspire reflections and actions. Do you have goals and focus your attention or do you shift? I mean, or do you drift aimlessly through your days hoping for something better to arrive? When you notice negative self-speak in your mind, say peace, love, or calm. It may seem a bit weird, but this will snap your mind from negativity to other possibilities. Okay. It says choose a crystal and make it your companion on your journey. Ask it where it would like to go and where it would like and what it would like to do. It is with you for a reason. For your journal work, it says write three <clears throat> three words or draw three symbols that connect you to your soul light. Repeat or focus on them as often as you can every day. Change the words or the symbols once a week to keep your focus fresh. Okay, that's something cool to do. Hmm. So what is number, okay, so let's see, because I want to read that one too, number 35, light beings, 127. Some of y'all could be seeing the numbers 127. I see those now at 126. <laughs> so we have enlightened soul information. This image this, this depicts a light being. The term light being is used to describe a range of ethereal forms of including, I mean, forms including guides and angels. They observe your life from a higher per perspective so they can see the most auspicious path for you to create your dreams and desires. Sometimes your light beings may seem to take you down a path fraught with difficulty however everything happens for a reason just as we know a baby will eventually walk you will also find your footing and attain your dreams your light beings are not here to save you for that would interfere with your ability to create unique paths and conclusions they are the keepers of the faith that hold and stream your past present and future dreams and desires to your heart only you can decide what to do with that information you can't get it wrong for your light beings will just show you another way wow okay so it says inspire reflections and actions Acknowledge how your soul sees you. Modify your beliefs about your, yourself in accordance with the way your soul sees you. Clear your mind of yesterday's dirt to enable a clear connection to your light beings. Meditation is, a necessary, is as necessary as a daily shower. Five minutes a day will quiet your mind, calm your body, and allow an unshakable peace to move through you. Ask for a sign or a feeling that your light beings are around you. Okay, for your journal work, it says, draw or write about three ways you believe you have connected with your light beings. 
It might be a feeling, a sense, a knowing, or a physical sign. For example, feathers and butterflies are, are, are a reminder, sorry, to feel and be light. Okay. Hmm. So very interesting. So hopefully that helps you in a way. I know these decks definitely helped me on my journey. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I want to pull something else, Spirit? Oh, I, I'm going to pull the signs at the end to see what signs resonated with this reading. But let's let's pull a, a chakra card. Okay, I feel like your chakras are important. This this deck is called Chakra Reading Cards. I got this from off of um, Amazon as well. What else does um, the collector need to know? Then I'm going to pull signs and then we're going to close out. bottom of the deck we have number 14 inner strength okay what else right, thank you so we have number 18 love so your heart chakra bottom of the deck listening throat chakra number 24 okay so let's do number 14 love i mean um, number 14 inner strength sorry some of you guys could be leos or something could be happening in leo season you're gaining your strength back in leo season this season this is your solar plexus yeah page 50 all right so it says you have pulled this card as a reminder that it is time to call on your inner strength you have the ability to deal with anything in your life we are all a part of the universe which has magnificent power and energy available to us at all times you are being invited to connect to acknowledge and call upon the incredible strength that lies within you life may be challenging for you at present and you are reminded that you have the tools and ability to conquer anything that comes your way whether it is an emotional physical mental or spiritual challenge know you have the strength to move through it and come out the other end empowered it's time to trust that you are strong enough and courageous enough to move through this difficult time and learn some powerful life lessons the universe is always giving you opportunities to build inner strength it is up to you to take on the challenge and arise from the ashes you may be required to look at your situation from a different point of view or even be willing to let go of some old belief systems that are weakening your inner strength. Whatever it is you are being guided to do, make sure to listen and put it into action. You have the courage of a lion and it, and it is time to roar and embrace this part of you in its totality. Your affirmation is, I have the strength to face all of life's challenges with grace. Okay, so definitely I'm getting Leo energy from that. Definitely that. <laughs> definitely that some of you guys can have leo on your chart somewhere you could be the leo you know but let's see number 18 your, your heart chakra love page 60 so let's see so it says you have called upon this card today as a reminder that love is all you need your true essence and every single cell in your body vibrates to the powerful essence of love or Sorry, it says your true essence in every single cell in your being vibrates to the powerful essence of love. It says you may be going through a challenging time at present. Wow, it's, it's said that twice in a, for your solar plexus and your heart. So definitely a lot to do with your heart, having to show compassion and care even still while you're going through this. I feel like that's the biggest test for some of you because, um, you know, like I said, you could be one to play tip or tat or lash out or do whatever. But you know that it's not it's not going to lead you anywhere. It's going to these people are trying to trick you out of your spot. So still set boundaries, but still show kindness. You know, um, kindness. People, people don't really people like this that you're dealing with don't really understand kindness. So, so you're beating them at their own game when you show kindness and, and still show that you, you know what I'm saying. You're a good person throughout all of this here that you're going through. But it says um, you may be going through a challenging time at present, such as a relationship breakup, a challenging family situation, friendship breakdown, or some personal challenges. Pulling this card today is a reminder that love is the key to your current situation. Yeah, it's time to bring the focus back to love and to what is important and true for you. Love is the biggest healer of all and has the power to create miracles in your life. It is very easy to sway from the essence of love, especially in our crazy fast paced lives. But you can never venture too far from this powerful essence because you are love. It resonates in every cell of your being. It's time to open 
It's time to open and allow this energy to flow into your world and into those challenges that you are experiencing. Do what is required to become open to this love. Do you need some time for you? A holiday, a change of job, a deep, honest conversation with someone? Whatever it is, give yourself this time and space with love. No matter what someone has or hasn't done, including yourself, we are all deserving of love in all its forms. If you feel that you sometimes have a tendency to close off from love, this card is an indication that it is time to open that beautiful heart of yours and allow yourself to receive. You are truly deserving of deep love, and now is the time for you to dance with the essence and believe you are worthy of it. Remember also that the most important form of love is self-love. Ask yourself, what part of me have I not been loving? And take some time to give this aspect of you some, go some good old nurturing. Love is a medicine for the soul and of life. This card can also reflect that you have been opening more to love and that it is time to meet that special person to share a loving connection with, possibly a soulmate or a twin flame. Your affirmation is, I am love and love is me. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, there's that. So, let's pull signs. Let's see what signs could be significant to this spread that I did for you guys. And then we're going to close out. Okay. So, let's see. What signs could be significant, Spirit? Please give me the signs that can be significant to the collective in regards to the spread. In the bottom of the deck, we have North Node and Pisces. Okay, this will help if you know your chart or if you know your person's chart or the people that could be involved or whoever you think is involved here. It will help if you know their chart or know their, maybe their, uh, just their big three possibly. But let's see. What signs can be involved here, Spirit? Oh, I do not want a card to fly in the damn fire. <laughs> the candle. Get a few more, please. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have Jupiter and Aquarius. Okay. Somebody can have that placement. So we have Venus and Sagittarius, rising sign in Pisces, rising sign in Aquarius, Mars and Libra, North Node in Aquarius, a lot of Aquarius placements, Moon and Cancer, Moon and Libra, Mercury and Pisces, Venus and Aries, North Node and Taurus, Venus and Libra. North Node in Scorpio, Mars in Taurus, Moon in Scorpio, North Node in Libra, Venus in Virgo, Mercury in Libra, Moon in Taurus, Mars in Pisces, Mars in Aquarius, Venus in Aquarius, Sun in Leo. Yep, boom, there it is. There's a Leo. <laughs> Venus in Leo, North Node in Capricorn, Moon in Virgo, and Rising Sun in Taurus. So those could be the signs that could be significant to this reading. Okay. Just because they're not pulled doesn't mean that it's not for you. Just take the message and, you know, take what resonates and, and leave what does not fit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this message today. Um, thank you guys once again for your patience and holding it down for me while I was away for a while. But I'm back. I'm going to be consistent and ready to, um, you know, do your readings and, and, and do what I feel called to do and do what makes me happy, which is read for y'all. So. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely leave me some comments. I love when you guys leave your comments. I read them all. Even though I can't obviously comment on everything, I do read your comments and I do love when you guys comment. I definitely, definitely, definitely do. Um, it helps pulling your energy anyways when you comment and tell your stories if, you're, if you feel comfortable or called to do so. Um, you know, so um, definitely like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys definitely press the all button so you guys will receive all of my notifications for when I post. And um, also I feel called to say as well, if a reading like as soon as I pop, as soon as a reading uploads and it doesn't work, you might probably have to give it at least a minute or two for it to fully upload so that way you can watch the video. Okay. Cause sometimes y'all, I know y'all click pretty fast cause you're excited to see me. <laughs> I love that energy, but you know what I'm saying? Just give it a little, give it a little minute, give it a little minute, let it come up. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.